Hey there, Postal here. So today we're going to be doing and taking out the first of the female pilots. This is Charlotte von Stoffen. Um, she's built uh, automatically to hop in the BF-110E, which is a great tier 5 heavy fighter, don't get me wrong. But I want to test her out in something a little bit more high tier. And she doesn't lose any of her um, abilities by going to a different plane. Um, so there's a lot of really good heavy fighters here. Here's the BF-110E. Any one of these is great at, in a head-on type situation. Um, the Tier 8 and Tier 9 specifically, they have air-to-air -air rockets. And so going head-on versus them uh, isn't smart, and not a lot of people go head-on into a 262 or a 262HG2 because of the air-to-air -air rockets and because you've got such great cannons. But it got me thinking. So the damage increase is also... Uh, per the, the word choice is impacting the rockets as well. It's all damage. And so I thought to myself, well, let's test out putting her in something like this. Now, this is a head-on machine, right? Uh, BVP-210, a bat wing, is really known for going head-on and doing, those, doing that rocket damage. So let's go ahead and let's put her in here. And then we're going to adjust her out a little bit. So first of all, let's retrain. I'm going to use gold because I want her to be at 100% for this particular video. Thank you for gold. She already has the Celestial Fury, which, as a reminder, in a head-on attack, increases the chance of causing critical damage and setting it on fire and increases the damage caused in a head-on attack by 20%. Yeah, the guns on the BVP-210 aren't phenomenal, uh, uh, specifically in a head-on attack. They're not phenomenal. They're they're perfectly adequate uh, when you're following somebody. But what I'm thinking of here is the head-on rockets. Um, Air-to-air combat in a head-on attack by firing the rockets is going to be 20% greater. This particular pilot, Charlotte, was built for the BVP-210. Excuse me, the BVP... The, <laughs> the BF-110E. And so, you know, that's what my, my points were set around. We actually want to set her around um, the BVP-210 at this point, right? So it automatically locks in these four points. You can never unselect these. But what we can do is put Expert Rocketeer on her. And I'm going to go ahead and just put Firefighter, I guess, on here. And so we're going to master those skills. So the Expert Rocketeer uh, significantly increases the chance of directly hitting an aircraft with your rockets. Not air-to-air -air rockets, but just rockets in general, right? So with this kind of setup, what kind of shenanigans can we get into on our BVP-210? Let's take a quick look at some uh, battles. Let's, let's fingers crossed, right? All right, so in this particular battle, we have... We're in a Tier 10 bat Tier 10. A Tier 8 battle, which is pretty nice. Um, it's one of the perks of this plane over the 212. Obviously, a 212 um, or the F-94D being Tier 9 planes, they're going to get stuck into Tier 10 battles. Uh, this one's never going to go higher than Tier 9. And as such, you're going to have just a uh, really good Rocketeer-type uh, scenarios. So let's send everybody else there for right now. Um, the B-29C is going to go for the... I assume it's going to go for the mining facility. Let's see what we can do in regards to... Oh, hello, sir. I probably didn't even need to fire two sets of rockets. I forgot. I'm trying to test out... Ugh. My forward firing capabilities, my head-on capabilities here. Rocket and a wing knocked out. Let's go ahead and let's reload. The rockets takes uh, a little less than 60 seconds to get them reloaded. Get my boost on. Is that bomber? He's not at the center, so I'm assuming he's going for the mining facility. A big test of these rockets would be doing any kind of damage to a B-29C, uh, any kind of significant damage, I should say. So in the meantime, let's go ahead and take a quick look here at what we can try to knock out. Oh, look, there, ow. It's not good for looking at the map. I 
this guy was coming at me. There we go. The airfield is ours. Utilize this advantage. Oh, was that an SU-9 that hit me? I'm kind of surprised they even survived. Alrighty, um... See if we can't get everybody there. Let me get some health back. I can't go attacking a B-29C without any kind of health at all. Let's get some wrench. So the thing with the B-29C is I've got to go head-on versus him. To get my extra damage output. He's dead. He's dead, Jim. So let's head on over to the mining facility, see if I can't help some of the friendlies over here. These heavy fighters are just absolutely tearing up. Tearing up our ground attackers. Let me see if I can help them. Ah, oh, he didn't want to go head on versus me. That sucks. See if I can't go versus this at key 94. Not necessarily a great plane to go head on versus, simply because he's got ridiculous range compared to me. There's two Rocketeers. There we go. Um, will my rockets do any kind of ground damage at all? Let's just try to do a little bit here, I guess. Okay, alert, just to help. Large enemy Let's move along. Alright, I can trust my ground attackers to finish this. Nice. Good on you. Now I've got, what, 40 seconds before my rockets are back. Let's um, get our boosts on here. Freaking B-29, man. Can't do what I want to do simply because I don't have the rockets. I'm wondering from a gun standpoint if Charlotte would be better on the 212. Simply because you've got three cannons on that plane. So when you're not able to do air to air with the rockets, you can at least still do some decent damage. Um, and a head-on with your guns. Let's see if we can't get the center here. Yep, uh... able to get everybody that I want to get. Go. Ah. Somebody's shooting at me that I don't want shooting at me. Tap, tap, tap. I don't want these guns to overheat. Go. Can I get somebody to go head on versus me? Why for art thou? Nobody want to go ahead. Flip a dip, man. Jerk. Keep it up. Dive, dive, dive. No. No. Dang it. Diedrich. Jerk. Oi. All right. Um, well, that stinks. No Gulabev there. But can we do anything about this freaking B-29C? Are we going to be able to win this? I'm tempted to say yes, there's a chance. So you're telling me there's a chance. Um, I'm not sure this is the best representation of the abilities of this plane with Charlotte at the helm, considering... Wow, look at all the... Well, look at all the capture points that instantly happen on the mining facility. I wonder where the B-29C is at. Anyway. Um, don't know if this is the best representation of a battle for her, simply because... 
really get a good amount of head-ons. But we overcame a freaking B-29C, so who am I to complain, right? Got two Rocketeers, not three Rocketeers. All right, so uh, we are going to take out the uh, PvP-210 again and see just how well we can do. So the second battle um, is turning it up to 11. So we've got that same B-29C on the enemy team. However, now it's Tier 9 battle. They've got a MiG-9 and an ME-262. Um, we do not have a lot going for us. Uh, that being said, uh, being I'm going to try to be cheeky here. we still got to try to out. The B-29C is still the, the, the biggest deal on the enemy team. Um, as far as them winning is concerned, obviously. Going against, like, directly impacting us is going to be the, the 262 and the MiG-9. I should be able to outmaneuver the MiG-9. Um, so, but we've got to outcap that B-29, right? And so to do that, I'm hoping he's going to go for the um, command center. That one that we're looking at right now. Although I dare not look, I've got to shoot this guy. And so they're going to capture that relatively quickly, I believe. And so my thought is to capture this and then move over to that to cap it back, right? Cool. So... I'm trying to be effective by countering what they... I, I can't stop him from capturing, but what I can do... Um, let's test out this whole head-on thing, huh? Missed all my rockets. Lame. Oh, well. Still hitting me. 6,000 feet away is still hitting me. Classic. Um, let's see what I can and can't do here. Oh, I make nines here. Oh, okay. I feel like I should be paying more attention to the map, huh? Everything's on me, huh? Literally everything's on me. Holy crap. Flipping G's, man. Making me use my uh, WASD skills more than uh, any Rocketeer skills. Oh, I don't think he was in the freaking sector. Dang it. Screwed that up. All right. Uh, I don't normally recommend doing this, but... There we go. can't believe I actually had to do ground damage there. Um... Ah, crap. One hit of that freaking 30 millimeter cannon on that plane would have been the death of me. And apparently he cannot do it. So, no es bueno. Got a wing, that's good. Dip. Oh, for some reason I thought I stole my rockets. He's gonna rocket that guy right there. Boost, break, boost, break, boost, break. Oh, come on. Dive down because something's shooting at me. Holy cow, man. The enemy has gathered forces to attack the command center. Ugh. Both my, t I guess my tail's knocked out. Is that what that's telling me? Kind of hard to tell on this plane. Ugh. Still miss my rockets. Classic.
Too much B29 skill. Oh well. Um, oh wait, who are we supposed to report? Report sent. Report sent. <laughs> yes! I'm on it today, boys. Report was sent. I didn't realize the big nine reported me. Classic. Man, I'm already having to deal with uh, B29 Cenus. I got to deal with the salty MiG-9. You're in a MiG-9, hombre. It doesn't turn worth anything. Oh, well. All right, let's see what we can do here. Uh, 20 seconds before my rockets are back, which means too damn long, to be honest. are knocked out. Lameness. Can I get a what what? Oh, actually, I was going to say there's a heavy fighter right there. I don't need to get right in front of him, do I? Gun's overheated again. Dang it. Two seconds too late. Receiving reports about rapidly deteriorating weather conditions. Support will be unable to reach you. Do you read me? Over. So I guess we're gonna hang out here and try to capture it back. Good momento, poor favor. Can we knock this guy out or is that guy gonna knock him out? Oh, knock him out in the sector, dude. Oh, that guy, like, that was the worst. It's the absolute worst. Why couldn't that guy kill him in the sector? That would have been super nice, man. And instead he died for his uh, troubles. Am I the only one over here? Ah. That's not good. And none of these plants are going to go head on versus me either. Go. Back around. No. Alright, stop dicking around here. Not that I was dicking around, but desperate times. Call for desperate measures. Pneumatic control assist on. Just to get on target as quickly as possible. Oh, shit. There's a heavy fighter inbound. Something knocked out my wing, which isn't very good. Just hanging on here, guys. Nothing to see. Crap on a stick. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna die. Great job Whew. today. We'll be waiting for you Whew. back home. <laughs> But that one was tough. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know how we uh, got that. Uh, all luck, man. All right. So let's head back. All right. So we were able to capture four sectors and kill 14 uh, air targets. And, and again, not really able to push the envelope in that first battle. But any kind of win against the B-29C is a double win as far as I'm concerned. Uh, to get a Lambert and some other stuff. Um, yeah, not too bad.
All right, so that second battle, we had 16 kills. Uh, had to do some ground damage again, which I, I don't typically recommend in this plane, but, you know, sometimes you got to do. Um, and, yeah, so and only two sectors captured. It's kind of the opposite of the last game. But we were able to do some, some significant dogfighting. Good job on Rattlehead there as well. Uh, F6U doing some, some uh, heavy lifting, too. And, yeah, so two battles where I would think that, uh, you know, under the circumstances would be pretty darn difficult to win, and yet we were able to win both of them. Not all on me, obviously, but it is what it is. I'm going to keep Charlotte in this particular plane, but the fact of the matter is she can go in any plane. I recommend putting her in planes where you're going to be going head-on more often than not. So typically heavy fighters, I'm going to test her out in this plane. Some more. Um, the reality of it is I, I I actually overused the rockets in the first battle. I, didn't, I should have been I should be testing them out, just doing one salvo to see what that can do in a head-on. Um, and I probably could have gotten a Golubev in that first battle. Um, in the second battle, didn't really have the same opportunities, but um, was still able to take advantage of a couple of rocketeers in that battle as well. So I think she's going to do really well in this particular plane. I'd love to hear if you already have Charlotte, what plane have you put her in? Or if you're thinking of getting her, what plane do you think you're going to put her in? And she's perfectly fine in the BF-110E. I just don't play Tier 5 all that often. So I um, just decided to try it out in this plane. Love to hear it in the comments below, or you're always welcome to hop in my Discord, and we can continue the conversation there. Uh, next up, we're going to be looking at Marina, uh, the Soviet female pilot who's absolutely excellent in ground attackers, and we'll see how that goes. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.